and the part about uh, when you came here when you were about three and uh, you didn't know any, any English at that time, right? Nope. And how did you go about uh, learning your English? Just watching TV and the free times I didn't go to school yet, so all I did was watch TV and repeat everything I said or everything I saw. What, what made you uh, want to learn English? Well, since I, I knew that we weren't going to go back to my own country, I just realized maybe I should learn English, uh -huh. start speaking it so I can get used to it. I see. And do you actually remember the first day you went to school? In a way, yes, because I was really embarrassed of the way my haircut was mm -hmm. and um, just... I just didn't think I was ready for it. And you probably didn't have those cool earrings on when you were in first grade, huh? Oh, yeah. No, I bet. So tell me a little bit about the first days of school. How did it go for you? Well, I wasn't in any regular classes. I was in the ESOL, which was for like Hispanic people who mm -hmm. weren't able to speak English that well. Mm -hmm. So I, I find it kind of fun because there was other people there with the same you know, problem I had. Mm -hmm. So it, it was easy and I, I got a hang of it pretty fast, mm -hmm. but it was, it was fun. When, when were you first aware that there were people of different races, that there were Mexican people and there were um, Indian people and so forth? When did you become aware of that? When, when I came to the, this country. Mm -hmm. And I saw all the different types. Of Even before things. school then started. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about it? How did you feel about it? Were you interested or were you afraid or, or what was your emotional feelings about that? I was I was interested because I mean I saw there was other different types of people like not just Mexican but mm -hmm. like you said Indians or whites and blacks or it's just other, it, it was just it, it surprised me, but. Well, as you've seen on the tape, uh, we, we've shown where you've adjusted rather well and uh, have no, uh, no problems at all on, on the surface. But uh, what were some of the difficulties that you, that you ran across uh, as you was growing up? Or did you run across any difficulties? Was it all smooth sailing or, 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 or what? Well, it, it was just... Like when I first started getting like friends, like really good friends, like, you know, I, I started hearing like these jokes mm -hmm. and I didn't know what to think about them. So I really didn't, I can't really defend myself because it was just like me as just one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just went along with it and just left. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I just got along and just kept going with it. So it didn't really bother me that much. Mm -hmm. Well, um, also, you stay with your family. Uh, the Mexican family seems to me to be a real tight, close-knit unit. You, you got some comments about that? Well, we are really close. We we do everything together on holidays. We we try to get as many family members as we can. Mm -hmm. All the family members, all the family members that are here in the U.S., we try to get them like the same place, same time. We try to go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And if we can't, then we just go to the beach mm -hmm. as a whole family. Mm -hmm. What um, what do you what does do you do for fun? What how, how, what releases do you have to enjoy yourself? Soccer and running. Soccer's the way it is, huh? Okay. Well, if uh, with your background and going through school, it, it don't sound like you had a terrible hard time about anything, and, and certainly uh, it seems like you've been blessed in a lot of ways. But uh, if uh, if you wanted to tell teachers uh, one one you want to tell them one important message to try to teach other kids, what what would come to mind? What kind of message would you try to convey to all teachers? Just uh, try to help these people, these kids, with the problems that I had, and try to get them through it. Because it's not easy for them at the beginning, for most of them when they first start and they don't know that much English or even if it's not like Mexican, if it's a different type of language that they should try to like 
help them in some way because I mean they're new to this just the, everything they they're around so mm -hmm. I mean great like a great help great person like I mean like yourself or anybody else would be great okay well what uh, you've managed to uh, to to win all those little battles and become uh, really well adjusted now, um, how hard was it, uh, you've got a 3.5 grade point average right now, is it is it still hard, you feel like you're on the same level as everybody else, or do you still like, feel like you got to work a little harder? I, it's just, it's not the fact that I have to, I feel like I have to work a little harder, it's, it just comes down to laziness, and I mean, I, under, I feel like I'm where everybody else is at, maybe not as high as some of my friends that I have, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm in the middle, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like down there, but I'm in the middle with it and it, it, I don't find it that hard. Some some things I do, but then I get help with it. Mm -hmm. Well, what are what are some of your goals and aspirations for the future? What, what do you think, that, what do you think uh, the future holds for you? Well, I'd like to go as far as I can with soccer. I wouldn't like to focus all on soccer. I want to have a backup plan, so my education is really important too. So mm -hmm. I'm just like become. I'd like to help people with the same type of problem that I had, mm -hmm. same type of issues that I went through and everything. Mm -hmm. How how you feel? You can best help help those people by getting them. If they need jobs, I'd like to help them find jobs. Mm -hmm. If they need to become legal, I'd like to help them with that too. Mm -hmm. I just, I just like to be a big help for the, for them, any way possible. Give, give back a little bit, huh? Do you ever see yourself uh, going back to your country? Oh, I'd love to. Or I'm, I apologize for that. Your country is this country, but do you ever see yourself going back to Mexico? I do. Mm -hmm. To visit and just to learn a little bit more about it because I really don't remember much about it mm -hmm. or any of anybody from there. All right, Pedro, appreciate your time and um, and you're certainly a certainly an asset to the community. Thank you.